Hey guys, uh, Nathaniel here. Um, let's get started. So we just we just did my most favorite um, uh, chart of all time, the violin plot. It's time to go into some of my least frequently used ones, but some of the ones that Seaborn does particularly well. Uh, so we have a point plot. Uh, so a point plot is again used for categorical data. Uh, uh, well, visualizing uh, real data over categorical data. So you might want to check out, hey, um, what is the distribution of uh, the total bill during lunch and, and dinner? Uh, something that they have shown is that people are able to visualize angles a little bit better than they are able to visualize heights. Um, so by having this sort of line connect the two, it's a little bit better. Um, so anyways, uh, what, what you've got here is the mean at lunch, the mean at dinner, as well as a 95% confidence interval calculated using bootstrapping. Um, you're able to point or plot two at the same time. <coughs> the problem with plotting these two at the same time is that you can't see uh, one or the other. So if you use dodge equals to true, you can go ahead and they'll, they'll slightly offset uh, the, the green and the red ones. And so you can, you can look at these distributions and you'll notice that I guess smokers eat less during dinner or something like that. Um, eh, I'm not sure. Um, you can go ahead and you can change the line styles. Uh, so the second one being dotted, the first one being straight, uh, the first point being zero, and the final point being an X. Um, so. And you can go ahead and make it vertical. Um, so if you change the X and the Y. Uh, it will infer which one is the categorical one, it will infer which one is the non-categorical one, and we'll go ahead and do that. So, uh, Okay, um, so that is that is that. If you go ahead and you specify join equals to false, you'll remove those lines. Um, you know, that being said, this becomes like a, a really poor version of other plots that we've done in the past. Um, so I think, I think you want to keep the line if you're going to be doing this. You can pass in any estimator that you want. So you can pass in median, uh, for example. Um, and this, this will sort of show you the distribution. Um, so there seems to be a lot of stuff in this, in this small section if this is the median. Um, so, <clears throat> so we'll again use bootstrapping in order to calculate any estimator that you want. Um, you can change the confidence interval. So in this case, I decreased the confidence interval to 68. The lines are smaller, um, and you can give it cap sizes. So you can give it these like little caps on top. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the second thing that I'll show you is the bar plot. Again, bar plot is is incredibly similar to uh, what I've done up here for point plot. It's again uh, basically doing the exact same thing. Um, uh, it's uh, I think just a, a worse version of point plot in the first place. I, I almost never use these. These are like old fashioned. You could almost say. Um, again, you can, you can switch the X and the Y's, you can give them hues, um, you can adjust the confidence intervals on top of these things, um, uh, I don't really know what else to say. Um, so this is going to be the mean, um, you can also get a count plot, and uh, what count plot will do is basically just count the number of points that you have, um, so... So that's, that's it, I, these things aren't too complicated, Seaborn does a good job describing them, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I, I would perhaps use a point plot if you, if you want to try to visualize changes, uh, these types of changes, but, you know, honestly, previous plots that we've done before have done a pretty good job. Uh, so box plots, I feel like, are a much better job at describing the data instead of, uh, in, instead of point plots. Uh, violin plots as well. Um, yeah. So I don't know what to say. I just wanted to show you these. Uh, uh, if you guys like the particular aesthetic of it, if you if you believe in in the dogma of angles instead of uh, lines, uh, it's up to you. Okay, uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. We're going to be doing some uh, pretty cool stuff coming up next: heat maps and time series. Okay, thanks, guys. See ya.